that's a problem. Whip this thing up in like two minutes, no big deal. So as you guys know, Beyblade X was revealed. What does this have to do with it? It's a Beyblade and there's a X, I guess. I don't know. This is Reaper's Revenge. It's an evolution of an old bay. Yeah. A lair. We'll of course start with the lair. Now, why did I call this thing Reaper's Revenge? Well, it's kind of like a twist on the Limit Break names. As you know, it's like Hyperion Burn, Helios Volcano, Lucifer the End, things like that. This is kind of like that, but it's Reaper's Revenge um, because, I don't know, I just thought that sounded cool. And it's two um, words to start with R, so it fits the sparking system. You know that already. But this thing is actually fantastic for attack. Um, it has these two red points right here, which deliver really good um, recoily hits. It also has these long gray scythe pieces that are actually double thick. And um, these like teeth pieces, which I wish these were um, black. Uh, I'll change it later. Not going to worry about it too much right now, but let's take a look at the side view. It looks pretty weird. And there's a reason why it's like this. We'll get to that later, but for now, let's get to the chassis, which is certainly a thing that I've built. The chassis. This chassis is called FA, which stands for filler attack because it fills in um, these gaps right here. Again, we'll get into why this is shaped like this um, later, but for now, uh, I'll just say this thing is very basic. Two of the sides aren't even filled in because again, it won't be able to fit. It is compatible with other sparking um, system layers because it of course has the, um, circle plate right here so it can connect to axled bays and studded bays but i don't recommend it because it looks stupid but it can fit in here and it sits flush with the rest of the blades and that looks pretty nice so let's move on to the driver which is really nothing special the driver it's called rush it's a circle need i say more no put that thing together and there we have reaper's revenge that's totally it. There's totally nothing interesting that has to do with this Beyblade. Nothing at all. Hmm. Yeah, this thing is compatible with the reboot driver that was made by LEGO Base in the LEGO Base Prime Apocalypse video. That's crazy. Driver. Again. Yeah, I decided to give this thing reboot. Why? Because I like it. So, in case you don't know what reboot is, let me get my reboot driver so I can show you. Hold on. So this is the reboot driver, and if you don't know, reboot is a driver where when it spins fast, these tabs come out, and this tip comes out, which moves decently slow, but still a little aggressive, but as the um, spin decreases, these tabs will go back in, retracting the tip, and now it's a much wider tip, so you get more aggressive patterns. It is really fun, and the LEGO version that was made by LEGO Bays is extremely good. It's very accurate. Um, I'll put a link in the description, the Prime Apocalypse video that he did where he built this and there's a more in-depth explanation on how it works. But it works very similar. You have these tabs to the sides, they go out, this little tip comes out, but as the speed slows down, they sink back in. And it is really cool to see in battle. It does have some scrapage because this version is stud down, unlike the LEGO Base one, so it does have some scrapage to it. But it shouldn't be that big of a hindrance, to be honest. Um, maybe I'll sand it down later. Um, or am I kidding? This is gonna be a big problem, but I might sand it down or something. You guys can do what you want. But, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for the two different stock combos for this Beyblade. So, uh, let's just get into the weight now, and then we'll do the test battles. So, the layer weighs around 21 grams. That's pretty heavy. The chassis weighs 9 grams. That's kind of what I expected. Driver, like, it doesn't read on my scale, so we don't need to worry about that. Overall, this thing is actually pretty heavy last time I checked. It is 33 grams, which is really good, but with the reboot driver, which this thing is crazy looking when it has it on there, it's like a tower, it is a whopping 38 grams, making this the heaviest LEGO Beyblade in the LEGO sparking system that I've made. So, yeah, also one more thing, just like comparing this with the previous Scythe Reaper Evo, they are pretty different, and this is actually going to be um, Scythe Reaper's shape, but... It was too good, so I have to nerf it into the designs you saw in the video. So, yeah. Just goes to show how crazy this thing is going to be. But now let's get into the test battles. Alright, you know what to do. We're going to test it out with the um, with the lame combo first. Pretty fast around the stadium. Uh, you know, that's kind of what you'd expect. Now let's remove the chassis and place on the reboot driver. And now you can watch it activate. So here it is, like, very calm. It's actually a pretty good launch.
and hopefully it'll go down. It's kind of like, all right, it's kind of like chilling in the center, but you'll see it go around when it gets hit in a battle. So, uh, yeah, let's do some battles now. I want to test it out against a left spin, so here we got Spriggan. We're going to do one battle with a bay in the lame combo, and then another one with reboot. So, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, burst. That's not a good sign. Alright, now we battle it with reboot. Ooh, okay, it killed Spriggan's spin. I mean, that's not too hard to do, considering... Yeah, but that's still pretty cool. Alright, next up we have a defense tank, Kerbius. Alright, let's go, bro. Let's see it in action. Kerbius might tank it, it's just too good. Yeah, bro, Kerbius is, like, really heavy, too. There goes Reboot. It's kind of effective. Maybe I should put, like, another rubber band around it. But, um, I think Kirby is still won that one. Alright. Okay, give me one second. We're gonna put another rubber band on this thing. Alright, I got another rubber band on this thing. You can't see it, but believe me. Let's try it out one more time with the test launch and see how much stronger it is. Oh, yeah, so much better. Alright, but first you're gonna watch it lose against this. Maybe it'll win, I don't know. Oh my gosh, they're getting thrown around. Dragon barely won, because lad. Alright, let's get serious. Let's put the chunk driver on here, and let's see how well it does now. Oh, my launcher piece broke again, it doesn't matter. Because look, look, it beat Dragon! This is one of the first Beyblades to beat Dragon. Actually, I think Kirbyus might have beaten Dragon, but it doesn't matter, that's still cool, okay? So that was my review on Reaper's Revenge, F.A. Blur, and Reaper's Revenge Reboot. That's a lot of R's, but um, this thing, probably the best Beyblade I've made. It has extremely good attack, and I think it might be really competitive in this system or whatever. And I know, we skipped a specific green fellow, but we'll get to him later. So if you like that video, comment, like, subscribe stuff like that, get in the stadium, and I'll see you in the next video. But, now let's get into the test battles. Oh, that looks cool while it's spinning, hold on. Nope, so... That is, that is cool on camera. I like, I like that a lot. I like that a lot, alright, I'll put that in... <laughs> alright, bloopers, cool, let's move on to the stupid video, god.